Another action-packed edition of Sports Tonight has just kicked off from Channels Television Sports Centre in Lagos, Nigeria. Thanks for joining in. My name is Austin Okorako and I'm standing in for Toin. Ibitoe will be joining us later on on the show to give us updates coming from the award ceremony for the 2014 African Footballer of the Year. It's taking place right here in Lagos. And I'm sure a lot of Nigerians have your finger crossed for Vincent in Yama. Uh, it promises to be an action-packed edition on the program where we'll be taking a look at all that is going down right here in Nigeria, Africa, and of course the world. We're still smiling right here because we're still celebrating the feat of Aruna Quadri. He is the best table tennis player in the world. Yes, he's ranked 30th in the world, but winning the IWTF Star Awards in Dubai makes him the best player. No contest in the world. I'm being joined by my colleagues, Zoom Nodi Okonta and Yemi Adebayo tonight on the program. Guys, good to have you on Sports Tonight. Yeah, Austin, good evening. It's our pleasure. Mm. Always Yemi? a pleasure. Yeah. Always an action packed sort of sport. And uh, right now, everyone is waiting to know who will be the king of African football. Yeah. Um, like Jonathan like pointed out before we came on, um, history beckons. Whoever wins um, tonight will make history. It, it's not as if naming the African footballer of the year, it's not as if that's the only thing that's going to be done tonight. But, you know, that's what uh, is the top prize. And that's what everybody uh, is looking out for. And um, most of us uh, on this one, uh, we're clearly partisan. Uh, we're all rooting for Vincent Ayama. But, but um, whatever happens, may the best man uh, win on the night. Mm. Do you know, the, a lot of people have said so much about Yaya Toure in this part of the world. Everyone is rooting for Vincent Ayama. But this morning, I said it might just be a shocker if we hear the name of Premier Merrick Aubameyang. We've had that before. Um, we had the situation where, and um, I don't know who, who won that uh, particular category, where it, we all thought it was uh, going to be Idi Jogba at one mm -hmm. point, suddenly went to... Um, uh, yeah. No, Adibai, um, Pedish Kanuti. Okay, yeah. 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 Um, we were so shocked um, with that um, particular edition, and everybody was saying, I think um, if a lot of people had put, placed their bet on that particular award, a lot of money would have gone, would have gone down the drain. Yeah. But um, nobody saw that coming, but there are some kind of um, underground message, uh, I think it was, uh, that was, um, there was a message this sent that mm -hmm. um, if you don't attend this award, you're likely going to be losing out. So they want everybody to be part of the award so that mm -hmm. you don't become a situation where um, the king who was meant to be coronated is not um, in that ceremony. Mm -hmm. so, um, so, but this time around, um, a lot of people are expecting much, but not as we expected when Mikel lost to Leia Turi. Right. Not as much, even oh, to the point of the announcement. The, the second one when the point, even know, lost to a two, yeah. That expectation yes, yes. was the second high. one yeah. was, was high. But, this, but the one for last year, a uh, few years ago, or last year, let's assume it was last year because mm -hmm. it was for 2013, um, we all felt Mikel in 2013 did a lot. Nigeria won the Nations Cup, went to the, he did a lot to, to justify um, um, that, uh, that uh, call that Mikel should be given that award. But even at the point of announcement, even some people could not believe that it was here at three. They thought, was it an announcement? Was it a <laughs> final announcement? Was it going to be another announcement? Mm. But it became the it became the award for the Ivorian. And uh, this time around, I don't know how what kind of magic an Ayama would do. Um, I don't know what um, kind of inspiration this award would do to more to goalkeepers, because if an Ayama gets this, then it means that goalkeeper should be thinking of aspiring to become the best player in Africa. So there you have it. The three um, shortlisted players for the African footballer. Of the year award, which you have on your screen, Vincent in your mind. This guy has been unstoppable, he's in fine form, playing good football. He's won the, um, the trophy, guys, three back times back, yeah. Yeah. in a row. And if you should win tonight, it's the first time. Come on, yeah, to show some love. Calm down. And that's the guy who's on your screen, Pierre Emmerich Obama Young. Um, he's Gabonese. The three of them are in the running. Who will be Africa's best? Who is the true king of African football? We'll get to know in about some. We say hours from now, yes, hours from now, our man to in the is at the venue of the ceremony. We'll try to connect with him to understand the look and feel right there at the venue. Now talking about the 2014 African Footballer of the Year Award ceremony. And I'm sure somebody wants to talk to us tonight on the program. And I'm sure a lot of Nigerians are still rooting for Vincent Yama, even though voting has closed a long time ago. Yes, you can be part of the program. Our feedback mechanisms have not changed on Twitter with channels underscore sports and on Facebook with channels hyphen sports. Who deserves to be the king of African football? And guys, the good thing is 
after tonight, we'll just have only tomorrow to analyze the winner and everybody can have some friends. Right, it doesn't change anything. But um, most times, some of these awards gives us um, what kind of, um, the kind of voting, give us a pattern of mm. voting. Um, the last one, when the vote, when the whole process was made open, how the national team co um, coaches or technical yeah. directors and the captains of the national teams of the um, association under affiliated to CAP yeah. voted. Uh, we saw the pattern. We saw how it all went. And we saw how many just relaxed. Yes, that's it. So, uh, so what I, what, what, whatever happens today, we know um, we never have a shocker like this. We've had that last year. We had that when you said the, the uh, culture issue. Shocker, but yeah. the only shocker we're going to have is when our women will not win because we know mm. our women is going to be it's going to be Nigeria for the women. Mm. Nigeria will dominate the women, obviously. Uh, when we have two TV Nigerians in every category, even mm -hmm. for the team of the mm -hmm. the team of national team of the year, we have two Nigerian teams, both the junior and the senior team. Yeah. The women, we have the, all the best players as far as Nigeria women football is concerned. Two of them in that ranking. Even in the youth category, we have that. But for the national team, I don't know whether Nigeria is going to win that. For the um, for the national team coaches, I don't know whether Steve is going to win that because uh, it's the, I don't know whether he's going to win that. But I know for women, mm. if anything will change for the for the women for a lot of the year, if anything changes, that in Nigeria, there's no, no way. I know that, uh, that but this applies award has been rigged because it's, it's, it's clear. It's, it's, it's clear. It's mm. clear. Um, mm. I don't know what. Um, I don't know what. What would change mm. the decisions of um, the national team coaches and and um, and, the, and, the, and the captains? So I don't know what what, what that would do to them. But for the player on the continent, the African base player, no Nigerian player was in that show. Please. We had um, for the first 25, first mm. 20, we had the Jike Zoin, but then he moved to South Africa. It's no longer in Nigeria. So yeah. it, it shows that there is, there is, our clubs need to do a lot. The NFF needs to do a lot to develop the league and ensure that our, play, our club gets to the crucial phase of the competition. For those shortlisted for the, um, the African base player, with those players who played for the, in the final of the CAF Champions League and yeah. the final of the CAF Confederation Cup. So mm -hmm. it means that we have a lot to do this yeah. year to get a look in for the African base player. I totally, totally agree with you. Yeah, yeah, me, Adiba, I'll, I'll get back to you in a minute. We've just been told that uh, our man Toi Nibitoi, who is live at the venue uh, for the award ceremony, yeah. talking about the crowning of the African Footballer of the Year for the year 2014, is joining us live on the program. Toi, good evening and welcome to Sports Tonight. Hello, Toi. Yeah, I'm um, Austin. Okay, good to have you join us. Tell us what's the look and feel like at the venue. I'm, I'm uh, barely hearing you because uh, the show just started. Uh, right now, flavor is the stage. The real awards are yet to begin. Uh, but then we have an impressive lineup of personalities here, football personalities. Uh, everyone here expecting a night of uh, please uh, and a night to reward excellence for those who have performed well uh, in the year under review. I've seen Yaya Ture, I've seen Princess Denyama, uh, I've seen Ashisha Koshola, I've seen the Cameroonian lady, and I've also nominated for the African Women Football of the Year Award. I've seen the Zaya Paranoje. It, it, it looks like we're going to have a good show here tonight. But of course, first thing, the main question on the list of everyone that will be answered at the end of uh, the two hours of excitement and show that we expect, will be who will be the African Football of the Year. Mm. That's the question that the guys in the studio are also trying to answer. But uh, Tony, you mentioned um, Vincent and Yama Yaya Ture. Where is Pierre Merrick Obama Young? Yeah, we're, we're expecting uh, uh, Patrick Obama Young. I've not seen him, but uh, some of the officials of CAP here um, are, are telling me that Obama Young is also on his way. Once I'm able to cite him, um, I will let you know. But I've seen Vincent, I've seen Yaya. It could be Austin. That could be an inkling into where this award will go after the day. Maybe if uh, my hand doesn't show up, they will know it's down to either Mr. Uh, Tenyama of Nigeria or Yaya Ture of uh, uh, Cote d'Ivoire. So, in describe the mood of Super Eagles goalkeeper Vincent Tenyama. Yeah, Tenyama looks very confident. He came in this evening. Um, he is looking very confident. Um, I'm sure he must be thinking in his mind that uh, in the year under review, that he's done enough uh, to be crowned uh, the best player in Africa. Uh, he had a good time, good season with Lille, uh, kept plenty, clean sheet, uh, had a good World Cup, uh, helped Nigeria in the second round of the World Cup, and then uh, also did well for the national team 
during the time that voting was going on. Unfortunately, Nigeria crashed out of the world of the uh, Nations Cup race. Mm. But it will be looking, obviously, at the fact that uh, uh, he, he did well another year under review. And we'll be hoping that he's done enough. Because at the same time, Yaya didn't have a good World Cup. Mm -hmm. He didn't have a bright start to the season. He, he'll probably be hoping that maybe something will be for him tonight. Mm. Thank you so much, Tony, for the update. Patriotic as ever, giving us reasons why Vincent Yoma should be crowned a king. Tony, thank you so much. We'll get you talking again in the course of the program. So that's it, Tony Bitoy, giving us updates from the glow, uh, from the uh, award ceremony of the African food for the African footballer of the year 2014. Yemi, it, when he was describing the mood of um, Vincent Yoma, he said he's confident and uh, he's done very well uh, for the year 2014 to be considered. Yeah. Totally agree. Yeah, I mean, I, I've always been in agreement. And I, 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 I'm going to say this. Our optimism is not far-fetched. It's based on something. Mm -hmm. Yama has had a very good 2014. Whatever happens, win or not, he has done well mm -hmm. in 2014. You could say some of us are a, a bit reckless in our optimism. But, of course, what do you expect from Nigerians? <laughs> you, you would always expect us to root for one mm -hmm. of our own. Uh, but, but he's had a good 2014. And... Um, it's very close. Even if you are a neutral, um, that is, if you're not from Nigeria, you're not from uh, Cote d'Ivoire, you look at those two players and you want to agree that, that it is close. Very, very... Unfortunately for us here, there's no, we have no role to play. <laughs> uh, we're not going to be the ones to decide mm. who wins. But, but, uh, but I'm going to say, we, whatever happens, Vincent has had a good 2014. Mm. And I hope, like what happened to Aruna country, it gets to crown it. Uh, we'd be the best... A player uh, in Africa uh, for 2014. Uh, yeah. And like Nodi also said, that he also brings the spotlight back on uh, people in the game of football that you don't recognize, defenders. Uh, I can't remember the last time uh, a defender, maybe in 2001, Fabio Cannavaro, won the uh, World Football of the Year. Those guys who put a lot in, into the game, you don't get to, you only recognize strikers and maybe midfielders who yeah. score a lot of goals. So it, it should be good for that if, if this happens. As well as we good for African football, sadly, Yemi says we cannot vote, but uh, we can talk about it. Uh, the fact that uh, Vincent Yama is nominated already makes him a winner. Let's talk about the, um, the guys getting ready for the friendly game between Nigeria and uh, between Cote d'Ivoire and Sudan. Um, let's quickly talk about the surprise that came out of the home base Super Eagles camp. I call it a surprise because he's a good player. And then you, I, I keep hearing you say, when a player is doing well, all we need to do is support and give him playing time. Christian Oswagona didn't make that team for the friendlies between um, Nigeria, Cote d'Ivoire, and Sudan. Surprise. First surprise is um, the reasons given by the coaches um, that um, it was, um, was um, off form. They couldn't 